So I end up bringing my first ever pair that I got. The, uh, it's not this pair, the Jordan. It's the Jordan 13 that he got game. That was my first pair I ever got. Um, as like now that I can like look back when I went to college. Yeah. And I could afford them. I was like, hey, I'm gonna get a pair of Jordan 13 because that's my favorite of all time. Um, right. And then it just kind of started building up, and then I have a collection back home, a collection here, and yeah, and it's gotten crazy up here for sure. So why the uh, Jordan 13s? Like, what sparked the love for those shoes? So when I was a kid, um, my parents, like, I had good grades, and they was like, hey, look, you get one pair, one <laughs> pair. And uh, went to Foot Locker or whatnot, Foot Action, and said, hey, look, uh, I want these Jordan 13s, because I remember seeing he got gay in the movie. Right. And was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get a pair of those. Um, wearing them all the time, outside playing, um, basketball courts playing. And then one day I came home, and they were gone. Like, I was, like, shocked. I was, like, where my shoes at? My mom was, like, I don't know. What are you, what are you talking about? What shoes? And and we, we never could find them, so I, I'm assuming she threw them away. <laughs> from then on, I was, like, all right, I'm going to get them back, and then I'm yeah. just going to keep uh, <laughs> collecting from there. Hell, yeah. yeah. So, what, they were just, like, too worn, like, broken down or something? Probably so. Decided, probably like, so. I'm going to toss them out? Yeah, yeah, probably so. And, you know, it just, it just kind of sparked the uh, interest that I've always had, just yeah. collecting and watching, uh, you know, Slam magazines, and uh, they had... Uh, nice kicks, uh, foot action magazines back then. So yeah, and East Bay, East Bay too. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you got half the collection here, and then half back home in, yep. in Louisiana, right? Yep, right. So what's the total count? I mean, if you could, it's so put funny. An I, estimate I actually on it. just counted yesterday because I'm like uh, trying to count them up right now. Uh, up here is is 600 pairs up here, uh, and I don't even know how many is at home. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, have, I haven't been home to count, so when I get back home, I, I'll finally figure out what what i have is there i mean is the jordan 13 the favorite it's the first but is that also the favorite like is there one shoe that if you had to pull out that's the one that stands out in that's, your mind that's right the away? favorite for sure yeah. that's the favorite. i mean i you know it, there's grills in here for sure um uh let's see oh, i'm trying to think of what's some grills uh i've gotten let's see it should be right here like the biggest thing I've been collecting lately is like all like the the school pickups. So like the Dunk Man. Oh. Yeah, that's just weird. Yeah, I picked up those. I picked up the Jordan Thirteens in the in the Oregon's. Uh, I'm trying to think what else here. What I mean, does St. Joe's rock? Are they who sponsors they, they, them? They're Nike, but they Nike? like kind of like okay. smaller smaller schools, so they yeah. only get the big time kicks like Oregon and you know the other other big name Jordan schools now. But right. I mean, I, I'm just. Uh, I like I like the like I said all the schools with the different Jordans like the fours the ones elevens mm -hmm. um, 13s. I'm trying to I'm actually going to the Michigan game tonight. I'm gonna see my my old coach Phil Martelli. Yeah. He, he coaches there. Right. And so uh, he said he had a pair of 11. So I'm gonna see what size he's wearing. <laughs> so maybe I might might come up on those. We'll yeah, see. yeah. We'll see. What size? Your size 12. I'm 12, 12? 13, 12, okay. 13. So uh, you know, I I kind of make it work. Make yeah, it work. yeah, yeah. Do you keep every pair that you wear in a game? Is that just kind of yeah. your routine? Yeah. So I have my own brand, Q4 Sports. Mm -hmm. um, get all of them customized. They all actually all downstairs. And uh, I think uh, this summer we're probably gonna raffle them all for my foundation and yeah. uh, and try to find a way to to make some money for the foundation. What's the what's the best game? What's the sneaker that the best game you played? Do you have that here? Is there one that you can recall? So, college NBA? Oh, uh, college. I'm trying to think. I know I have my. I actually got my college pair. I wore in the college tournament. I don't know where is that though. Uh, let's see if it's in there. I know. I had it sent up here because I was trying to do something with my um designer. So this pair right here, I had I wore in college. Uh, KD, as you can see, it's beat up real bad. Yeah. Um, I wore those like for most of the season, and then like uh, during the tournament, I wore uh, I think it was the Kobe five with the spikes on. It. I'm not. Sure. I think it's the Kobe five, the Kobe sixes with the spikes on it. And um, uh, and I remember I went off like I had a great <laughs> game. And I remember I was like, All right, I gotta hold on to these. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I can't never get rid of these. So. Yeah. Um. But yeah, if I find those, I'll, I'll definitely send you guys the pictures for sure. Yeah, for sure. I don't know where they are. I mean, like, is, there, is there an NBA game that stands out? Like a pair of shoes you wore during the game and you dropped, you know, like 35? Uh, I mean, I had a good game in these right here. I had the Zoom Generations on. I played well. Uh, I forgot who we played against. We played against, 
it was like early in early in the season. I played well with these on when I was when I was with Nike. Yeah. Uh, and then I actually got a pair uh, in the Hall of Fame right now. Uh, Tour Stories. Um, our other PR guy, he he kind of put those after I played a game in them. Um, I customized it with Woody on one pair and Buzz on the other pair. And, yeah. And they was like, hey, look, we want to put it in the Hall of Fame, like for fashion. Um, that's awesome. And so it's up in. Uh, she's the Hall of Fame right now, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. So knowing your sneakers in the Hall of Fame, yeah, like, that's gotta be a humbling moment. Somebody, somebody that. did a video on it. Uh, I haven't seen it in person yet, so I'm like, all right, this summer I have to go and like check it out. So yeah. I'm, I'm gonna try to make make a trip up there that's to awesome. Springfield. Check it out. All right, I got a question about one pair. Sure. So the these 13s right here, when or they 12s. first or 12s, 12s, yeah, when they first came out, they only came out in women's sizes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are those the vans? So, so this pair is is, is actually oh, you coming in there, man? <laughs> So this actually, uh, I'm trying to think. I got a pair. Cause I may or may not have bought in the women's pair when they came out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I tried to get them like the biggest size that they had in women's. Yeah. Uh, and then I was like, hey, look, I'm gonna try to rock it if I, if I could. Uh, I haven't, as you can see, I haven't, I haven't worn it yet. Um, but it's an older shoe. It's kind of uh, just growing as time goes. But uh, yeah, eventually I'm gonna definitely rock those. I just got the. It's the biggest size they had, and I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna rock those." Like, especially like these right over here. Like these, uh, these came out in women's sizes yep. only, and I was like, "Hey, I gotta find a way to get these." Uh, so I got those, and I think uh, there's another. There's a, there's a few pairs I've, I've gotten over the years with. It might be a women's shoe, but it's it's just too hard to to not get. And then this, even this pair, this it's an older pair, mm -hmm. the old Carmelo that I had, and. Uh, you know, I was like, look, I just got to get the biggest size that they have and, uh, <laughs> and just hold on to them for dear life. Yeah. Is you, there a pair you can't find? Like, you personally can't get? Like, like m and 4 is almost impossible to get. The yeah. Carhartt, the blue ones, right. whatever. Are there any that you want that you just can't touch? So, the, I mean, the main one uh, I think everybody knows is uh, the Marty McFly's, the uh, Back to the Futures. Like, I want those so bad, but they cost way too much. They're like 30000 for those. I'm like, I'm not paying 30000 for them. <laughs> one of my guys, actually, he was trying to get me to get them the other day. Um, and I was like, man, it's just, it's, I'm not getting those, man. Maybe when, I, when I'm when i done with my career, I'll get those, but not now. Yeah, yeah. That's a grill. That's a grill for sure. <laughs> You ever rock the same pair twice in a game, or once you wear them, are they kind of off off the off the court for you? Nah, once once like all my shoes that I customize, I wear them one time, mm -hmm. and then I that's it, that's it for the year. So I try to have all eighty two pairs um, right. like customized out for each game. So even if you drop like fifty wearing yeah, a pair, you wouldn't wear them again just nope. out of superstition. Nope, no, nope. okay. yeah, nah. Okay. nah Is the artist them. local? That does all of them. So he was in Minnesota. He used to live in Minnesota. Now he moved to Vegas. So it's a uh, it's a little tricky sometimes. Like shoes to get like to my house like right before the game maybe like a couple hours before the game starts yeah and so i'm just waiting like all right let's see what happens and i'm like <laughs> waiting around waiting around and all of a sudden either i'll get them they'll be out in the front door or i'll just like tell my wife to bring them down to the game for me and right and i'm like hey, i'll put them on as soon as, as soon as it's time to uh, tip off yeah um is there a shoe that you've worn that's gotten the most love from players on the floor in a game, either your teammates or, or opponents who are just like, yo, that that's sick. Um, yeah, I've I've got. I mean, I think every game where I wear a new pair of kicks, like either my teammates in the locker room, they're like, hey man, what what do you got on the day? Uh, yeah. They always asking me. Especially, I did. Um, what did I do? I didn't do Brandon Stimpy. I did. I did an old cartoon, and like most of the guys didn't even know what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was um um, what is it? Uh, Cow and Chicken. I don't know if you know. It was an old. Uh, uh, I think it was on Cartoon Network. I think that what it was. It was on Nickelodeon. One or two, but uh, okay. they didn't even know what it was. It was like, what? What is that? What show is that? And I was like, yeah, it's an old school cartoon. Right. That, you know, most of the kids from the nineties they'll recognize, but not yeah. not most of the kids nowadays. Are you you have some here that I don't think I've seen before. Like, are those some DeRozans down there? Which the, one? The tans. That, right there, yep, yep, right by here. Oh, these, these are uh, bibbies. Oh, bibbies. Like okay, bibbies, so yeah. they're player edition bibbies. Yeah, so I wore, the, I wore actually wore these in a the game, I think, yeah, three years ago, and they actually fell apart. But we tried to glue them back together. As you can see, like you see, like the like the tape is all falling. Look, this fell fell oh, apart. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else fell apart. Yeah, this whole bottom like it fell apart. I wore we we were out in uh, L. A. and I wore these um, for the Lakers game, and those kind of fell apart on me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no, I just, I try to rock whatever's, like, older and people can't really get their hands on. 
um, when I was with Nike, and now I'm just like, I wear these just sparingly when I can, just rock them around. Of course, you got the classic Iverson yeah. questions down yeah, there. I got the questions right here, too. Oh, those are the ones. Yeah. yeah. I got remember when those too. first came out? Man, I remember when it, like, this was like the biggest thing uh -huh. when bought them. Man, that was crazy. And now you got, I see you got some off-whites in here. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, I had to pick up the off-whites. Um, and what about these, these DA1s? Yeah, so there's uh, Derek Anderson's. Okay. Yeah, so I, uh, I've just been saving these, keeping these on ice. Um, but as you can see, I wore these too and just trying to hold on to them. Because, yeah. I mean, most people, like, nowadays, they can they can bring them back to life, but... You know, they fall apart pretty pretty easy with the, the glue and everything like that. And, you know, I got represent oh, Michigan yeah, yeah. while we're up here. Yeah, no, yeah. it, it's kind of crazy. Do you think it's crazy now that, like, players are wearing LeBron's and Kyrie's right. and KD's and all of that? You know, because growing up, like... Nobody wore Jordans right, except right. for a few of the players on the Bulls. Yep, like yep. it just wasn't happening. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's it, it, it's like respect towards that player now, or or what do you think about wearing another player's shoe? Well, it's it's kind of different now because most players are limited. You can only there's only like a few pair of kicks on the market nowadays, where it's only like Giannis, Kyrie's, LeBron's. Um, I mean, if you look at like other brands, you got Westbrook, you got uh, D Rose has yeah, some. Yeah, D Rose has mm -hmm. some. Um, James Harden. Yeah. There's not many like basketball shoes for different brands nowadays. Like they only keep it like whatever the the, the player is. Um, it's not like just the random like uh, models that the the brand comes out with anymore. Which is, I mean, it's 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 good and bad. You know, when you play different players, I feel like. You can't wear his kicks on against him, like right. guarding him or nothing like that. I feel like that the guy looks down like, oh, you wearing my kicks? All right, well, I'm about to go out and bust you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is what it is. You ever done that before you were at Q4? You ever end up wearing someone's kicks no, that you no. played against? No, I no. Never, I never did that. Like, if we played, like, Kyrie, I would switch and wear Kobe's that game or if I was playing. Well, the only time I've worn another player's shoes is against Kobe because I, I want him to sign them after the game. So yeah. I wore those kicks, and then he signed them for me. And then uh, I put I, I stashed it back home and in my nice. collection just, just chilling. So was I, that during his farewell season, twenty sixteen? Yep. Yeah. You know, uh, okay. Yeah, it was a uh, twenty fourteen. Yep. Yep. That was uh, that season. Uh, got a chance to play against him. Well, did I play him four times. Yeah, it's either two or four times I got a chance to play against mm -hmm. him. One, I think one of the times he was out, but yeah. Did he go off against you wearing it? Wearing uh, his no, no. He okay. he he kind of was uh chilling that game. I only guarded him a couple times. Yeah. It was like switches when I guarded him. Right. Um, but most of those games when I was with the Knicks, uh, Melo wanted to guard him. You know, why farewell tour, and he wanted to yeah. be the last one to guard him on our team. So. Are there any that you won't wear that you just can't bring yourself to stepping outside in them? Um, nah, I, I wear everything. I yeah. wear everything. I mean, there's a couple pair I haven't worn in here yet. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, we got more bibbies here too, huh? Yeah, I got some more bibbies. Yeah, I'm always coming up on bibbies. Uh, he's a 12 and a half, so I can kind of rock those, uh, especially like when you know if I want to work out them in the summertime or something like that. Uh, I'm trying to think what, have, what haven't I worn? Uh, like these, I haven't worn. Uh, old for this pack. The infrared pack, the old infrared pack. Oh, yeah. Old school infrareds. Like, I haven't worn those. Like, this is the original pair. That's from, see. like, 93 or whatever? Uh, I think it's, like, the, the second pair, second edition of these. Okay. Yeah. And I, because the, the newer pair that they made, it was kind of pinkish, and I, I didn't like that. So I was like, let me go ahead and get this old school pair. And I've been holding on to it since. Um, and then they got some baits over here. Yeah, I got the baits. I got two baits. Um, I got some more baits, like, right there in that box. So how much has your collection grown since coming here? Like, has this room expanded in, in, in the amount of shoes in here since you came to the Yeah, Pistons? yeah, yeah. I mean, when I first got here to Detroit, it probably was, I mean, probably from right here to about right here. That was only that was the only pair of kicks wow. that I bought. I bought here with me, and then now I'm, I look up and I'm like, dang. Yeah, Sheesh, I got a lot of pairs now. <laughs> it's crazy. Does your wife appreciate it? I mean, what, what does she say? She she does appreciate it because she has some of these shoes, like not all of them, but like there's a couple in here for her. Um, okay. And then back home, most of the, like the I would say 
three, I'll probably say one fourth of the, of the shoes back home for her. Like she has a lot of pair back home. She really doesn't have that many pair here, but back right. home she has a lot. And then how about your? You have one son or two? One, yeah, my one son, and he, yeah, he has his. You got him. In, you got in, him in the hallway, home? there's like a box right there, and it's full of his shoes. He got, he got a lot of shoes. Nice, and, uh, nice. And he's so you're starting him young. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting him young. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, he has like from uh, old school Jordans to you know now the newer Jordans now. So yeah, make, make sure he stays stays. <laughs> yeah, stays he's got to stay sure. current for sure. For sure. Um, does anyone think you're crazy? Any any family or friends walk in and see this and like, man. You, no, um, it's it's different nowadays. I feel like yeah. if, if this was like ten years ago, they probably like, all right. You got a addiction, like you really need to stop this. <laughs> um, my mom and them they actually laugh at me now because like we never would have thought it would get this big, like right. to, collecting this many shoes. But you know, 